bum 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 bum. Hello, Bullfiles! Today we're discussing Fairling Etude number 26 from the 48 Fairling Etudes that a lot of people use for their Allstate contests and things, so if this one comes up for you, hopefully this helps you out. If these videos do help you out, don't forget to subscribe and like the video below. Actually, liking the video helps out the channel a ton, so thank you for doing that. And it only takes a minute and it's free to do, so thanks a lot. Alright, so the issue with this etude are all of the octave leaps. They are, well, they're all, all over the place and they can be difficult to manage. So the way to practice this is to make sure that the low notes are responding. The high notes, they will usually pop out, and we'll talk about intonation in just a minute, but it's the low notes that you want to focus on. So for example, the first one is in bar three. So I'm going to start by just playing the low notes. And in this way, you can make sure that your air and tongue and mouth are in a relaxed position, I shouldn't say that, in the correct position, um, but you want to be able to have control of the response. When that's done, play the upper octave down an octave. That way you're more in control of the intonation and you're training your ear to find it. So that would sound like this. done, go ahead and spike it up the upper octave slowly before you try it fast. Now notice that I'm not playing any of the staccato notes short. If you practice them long and legato at the slow tempo, when you play fast, they will sound staccato because they'll be clear and somewhat detached because of the action of the tongue. If you play them short, they'll sound brittle. And if you go fast, it's hard to hear the flesh of the note. Do you hear how like, it sounds brittle? If I'm doing it long, Connecting, when I go fast, we still get that like staccato feel because of the clarity, but there's not that brittleness of it being too short. The other issue with this etude is just one of grouping. So the most common rhythm is of course the one plus three articulation. And I say rhythm, it's more like an agogic rhythm. Obviously the rhythm is all six eighth notes. But we want to really incorporate the groupings, showing the downbeat, and then showing three pickup six eighth notes into the next downbeat. Bum, 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 now, a way to separate the grouping and train yourself to feel it and play it with your air is to put a space in between the first and the last 360 notes. So that sounds like this. It's really important that you're feeling this grouping as a rhythmic gesture internally. It doesn't really matter if you train your hands this way, it's all about the breath and the way that you're hearing it in your mind and in your heart. <laughs> so those are the issues with Fairling 26. Again, I really appreciate the support that you guys have given this channel. It's awesome to keep growing in subscribers and getting feedback on what kind of videos you like. If you are interested in a topic in this video or any other topic, please let me know in the comments so I can make more of these tutorial videos. And as always, when in doubt, play beautifully.